Hello and welcome to B&D. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the little bell for your notifications. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> of my grinder date. Well, my grinder date started off that he wanted to meet quite late at night. It was like after six um, because he was out. And I'm going, well, it's not going to leave us a lot of time for me to then get back home. Um, and he's going, I said, but there's still enough time. So um, I'm going, I need a dress. So he gives us a dress. I looked it up. It was where he said it was going to be. Although I kept thinking, well, maybe it's just an open piece of ground now and there's nothing there. So um, I was fine all day. Um, I got dressed. Bet you can't guess what dress I wore. <laughs> this is velvet and it's from Temu and it is as sexy as hell on. Um, so this is my date dress, I take it. Um, well, at least first date dress. Um, so I, um, I got ready. I set off. And I am very nervous. I have things running through my head the whole of the drive. Um, he won't be there. I'm going to turn up. I'm going to be dragged in. There's going to be a whole pile of people there. And they're going to beat the crap out of me. That type of thing ran through my head. As well as I'm going to turn up. There's going to be a whole pile of people. And they're all going to take turns with me. There's an, and the thing comes as that. Am I still prepared to go? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Even though I have these things in my head. <laughs> um, so I turn up. I park the car. And I text him a message saying, I am here. And I don't take my phone, one of my phones, into in with this. I leave it because it has all the information of him on it. So I turn it off and I leave it hidden in the car. If my body turns up dead somewhere, there is evidence on my phone. <laughs> uh, these are the things I'm thinking. It's terrible. So I go. I've already had such a conversation like an hour long or more. And I've told him that I'm going to be nervous. And I think the only way to stop me from feeling nervous is that he needs to kiss me and he needs to hold me. And this is the first time I have had either of them from a man. So um, this is like really out there. Uh, things I have never done. So I turn up. He's looking out the door. for his, I'm going, I'm here. He said, ah, you could have parked there. I said, oh, yeah. you said park in the... Oh, yeah. I said, it's fine there. If I need to move it, I move it. But So I went in. I put my bag down, I turned round, he came towards me, he put his arms around me and he kissed me. And at that point, uh, just about 90% of my nerves went straight out the window. Um, he had his arm around me, he said, we can sit down here and we sat down and he said, come on then. And I put my head on his shoulder and he put his arm around me and he ran his arm up and down my back, which sent shivers down my back all over. And I just closed my eyes and I just lay against his shoulder and he asked if I was all right and everything. And it was just so nice. I, after less than a minute, every single piece of my nerves and my apprehension and everything was gone there was nothing left of any of that so um 
he asked if I was all right. I lifted my head to say, yes, I, I'm, I'm fine. It's, this is really good. I like this. And he kissed me again. And he started um, um, using his tongue. <laughs> uh, so I used mine. <laughs> and he held me more. And we, I don't know where the time went. Um, because I turned up, it was close at the half past six by the time. And we stopped kissing after I don't know how long. Then I said, I haven't eaten. And he said, no, I haven't eaten either. He says, he says, what do you want? I said, I don't know. What, what, what is that? <laughs> and he says, I, I know a good fish and chip shop. Um, they'll deliver. So he ordered two fish and chips to be delivered. And it took an hour for them to deliver it. I could have went out myself and got it. Uh, um, so I was sitting there. And he's got this little table and he put my uh, stuff out and he had his. And I had said, well, just get two fish and one portion of chips and we can share the, the chips. Because um, he said he was going to get a big fish. And it was quite a big fish. Um, by the time it arrived, because it had been in the box, it had steamed a bit. So it wasn't crispy. So it was more like a little soggy. Um, but it was still hot and it was still nice. Um, so... I had my fish and chips. He had his. Um, then um, I just had like a cold drink. Then after that, we he came back and sat. Well, he came back and sat and said, we could watch telly sitting on the bed. And I'm going, okay. <laughs> where, where is my... <laughs> I have zero morals of, of I'm just going to go and sit in his bed uh, and sit on his bed and watch telly. I've got a telly here. But then it's much more comfortable. So I I went and I took my shoes off and I sat on the bed and he came back and he's um, kissing me and putting his arms around me and running his hand and squeezing my bum and running his hand down my thigh and um, yeah <laughs> but that's um and I know one thing I I definitely know one thing while um he does that to me um because I am really close to him and I no one thing <laughs> um if you can't work out that one thing i don't know if i should tell you the one thing um but um let's just say he was immensely happy that i was there <laughs> um so um i was just running my hand down his back and I was touching his bum and he moved my hand um, onto him and and he made my hand rub um, up and down against him and <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't done any of that before. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. But I was fine with it, really. I don't know how. I have some of the most sophisticated, dirty, filthy, porn-rated um, programs in my head. And one of them is um, doing that. So um, since he was... Um, touching me and he had his hand up my dress and he was squeezing my bum and he, I he was going telling me to physically um do it to him um to touch him and so um I I did and I am immensely dedicated to my work <laughs> um 
once he was hard, there was the chance that he was not going to be satisfied by the time I was finished. Um, and I'm a good girl at what I do. <laughs> So anyone who stayed to this end bit and actually who hear this, um, I did. <laughs> um, he, I, he did um, come a lot. <laughs> um, and I was immensely proud of myself that I had done that. And then it was getting late didn't really see much telly <laughs> um but um i said i had to go because it was getting late i had like a 30 minute drive to get home so um before i even left he said we are you are going to see me again aren't you you are i said yes and i said when and he said well what about tomorrow so um my date for the very first time and we had a second date no we had we had several and i don't know if i'm going to tell you about the several but let's take it before i came away up here to scotland for this trip I physically seen him five times. Doesn't mean we're going together, but um, does mean that I'm just seeing someone. So, and I am happy. But you'll hear probably about in the, maybe another one or other dates at some other time. So, yes, I'm a dirty little girl, and I love it. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and bye for now. Next time.